This is Madras or Madras, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, um, red, radish pod. And I've been harvesting quite a bit off of it. Um, but every time it flowers, then it um, produces a pod. Let me find one right here. Right there it is. Right here. Oh, there's another one. This one you can see better. And, um, like I said, I've been harvesting them. Um, sometimes they're really hot, and some they're just a mild radish flavor. Um, I did can a few. I found an old recipe from the 1800s. And I tried it. I haven't opened up the can and tried them yet to see how they are. But I do like them um, just right off the plant raw. But I wanted to show the um, flower on these because this was the first one I planted. This plant here is the second one I planted. And then the third one I planted didn't um, germinate, and neither did the fourth one. Um, and this one is the fifth one that I planted, and the flowers on it are white. But um, let me see if I can find a pod here. You can see that the pods are the same. Where are they at? Just a minute. Right there is the pod. Now this one here is called a rat tail, which is also a potting radish. And it flowers, looks just like the um, madras. But the pods on it are different. I'll show you a pod. Right here are the pods. And they do have um, a mild radish flavor. I haven't had any hot ones yet, but these have just started to come on. And in here, I've planted... Um, more of the rat tails and I have one right over there that's in bloom and it has the pink flowers also and right there is the madras or madras however you like to say it um, radish just as it's coming up I had the seed And this is also um, the mandrus radish pod. These are rat tail radish pods. And um, you can see in this bed that these have the more purplish haze that's described. on the um, package about them. The ones that I have growing in the back bed don't have this haze color on it. And this is the rat tail again. This is the one that's in the back. And you can see it doesn't have that purple color on it. This one here is the um, madras, madras radish pod. And, um, like I said before, I don't know why these blooms are white when the other plants have been pink. Hi, it is, um, August 6th, and I was just going to show you the madras pod, or madras, however you want to pronounce it. It, um, will produce really well for a long time, and then... Now that one's still good, but these little ones that are starting to grow 
are like hollow, no juice. So I'm going to be pulling this plant so I have room for other things if for the fall. That's what the um, Madras pods seem to do, that they produce really good and then all of a sudden they just go hollow without any juice or flavor. Now this one is um, another one and it is still doing really good so we're going to keep it going. And right beside it is the rat tails and it is still doing really good. Still producing a lot. I get a nice picking every week from it. And over here I have several rat tails um, still growing and they're still doing they're doing okay not as good as that one in the back. I had two of them die. And here is my madras or madras um, it's a radish pod and I believe that this one oh it's still got good good pods on it and it's still producing somewhat it is August 14th this one over here is the um, the rat towel And it's still producing nicely. And then the rat tails that I grew in, or I started in the covered beds, aren't doing as well except for the two furthest. They look like they're going to be nice plants eventually. Still blooming, still producing. And there's a um, madras or madras pod that I planted several weeks ago. Um, we will see if I, I get anything from it before the frost comes. Today is September 5th. And here are the rat tails. I just picked them, so you probably won't see very many um, pods on there. But um, they are still doing very well. And this is the um, rat tail I just picked from, so you don't see very many pods. But it is still producing. I get two small bowls from it probably every week. And this one here is the Madras or Mad Madras Radish Pod. And, do I get in the right spot? Yeah. Um, you can see it's kind of losing its juice flavor. It's getting like a hollow taste to it. So I'm going to be pulling this plant. It is September 23rd and the rat tails are still producing. Here are some more rat tails. I did pull five of these plants last uh, weekend. Um, they were just look pretty much dead. There was no more blooms on them. But I did leave these plants because they are still producing and blooming. Right there is the uh, madras, or madras, however you like to say it, um, radish pod that I planted. Um, I'll have to go back to the videos to see when I planted it. But um, here it is, September 23rd. Our frost date is October, I think, the 25th. So we're going to see if we actually get anything from this. And this is the um, last of the... Um, rat tail radish pod plant that I have. I had to pull the other ones to move the lettuce when it started getting too cold. I had to um, move them, the rat tails that I had in the covered beds and I put the lettuce in there. But this one is out in the open and it is still producing. Right there are some pods. And this is the mandras or ma madras radish pod that I planted um, from seed. Um, I planted this probably, I'm thinking late June, mid June, and um, it did produce a plant, but I haven't had any blooms yet off of it. And I don't know if it'll make it before we have a 
hard frost that kills the plant. 